Okay, so we're going to make Christmas cards, or actually, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas cards, you could do birthday, you could do any holiday. Um, and they're going to be 5 by 7 so we're going to go File, New, and we're going to do a letter size paper. I'm going to make mine up and down, Create. So to make sure our boxes are the right size, when you click the rectangle tool, press and hold, or press and click, don't press and hold, and it'll actually come up with this size box where you can actually enter it. So my width is going to be 7 inches, and my height is going to be 5 inches. Boom. There is one of my cards. Control C, Control V to cut and paste. If you're on the Mac, it's Command C, Command V. So now I have my card, okay? The front of the card, the back of the card. Um, so what am I going to want to do? I think I'm going to try and create a cool pattern that looks like Christmas paper. But what I'm going to do is spell things properly. And let's see if we can trace something. Ooh, I know. Coloring. Coloring. Okay, so this will be cool. So I'm going to right click and hit copy image. Now, I'm going to just lock these two things in place by going object, lock, selection so that I don't move them around. Okay, control V for pasting. Now I have this giant coloring sheet, but I'm holding shift as I shrink it so that I don't make the Christmas trees look silly. This is a pixel art. I can't do anything with that in Illustrator, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit image trace and let's see if it traces nicely. Cool. Now expand. All right. A I'm going to delete the white around it. V, I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. I'm also going to go down here, hit A, select this stuff, I don't want that. V again, okay. So, we are going to, well, I guess we might need to make it a little bit bigger. Half on and start that way. Um, with the trace selected, you're going to go up into uh, Object and you're going to go Live Paint Make. Now, it's not going to look like anything happened, but it did. So then you're going to go find the Paint Bucket tool, which I can never seem to find. Oh gosh. Um, there we go. Live Paint Bucket tool. And I am going to select a color. Let's do green. Now, if you notice, you can select the shapes and color them in, just like a coloring book. Oh my goodness. And now these trees, I will make them maybe darker. Eye for eyedropper. Ooh, and you know what I just realized? These are going to be upside down. So, what we're going to want to do with the white arrow, not the black, with the white you're going to select this, then go to the black. Hold shift so that you can rotate them. And now we're good. And they won't be upside down. How do we have that lined up? Half on there, full on there. Perfect. Now, go back to my paint bucket tool. I'm going to make this one a little bit lighter. Paint, 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 paint. Make it a little bit lighter for the other ones. Okay, now for the Christmas ornaments. You can do whatever the heck you want. Um, we could even do a gradient. But I don't want it black. I want it red. No black. I'm pulling it down to get rid of that color. Hmm, no. Hmm. Way more better. 
or do them all different, whatever. I can also make the card its own color. I locked those shapes behind there, but if I made a big square, we'll be cutting them out and printing them and putting them in envelopes, but I obviously do not want it that color. But how about just yellow? And then you're going to right click and hit arrange, send to back. Now, we locked those shapes. You can't really see what's happening here. So if I go up to object and unlock all, I can delete these and now I have my card there. Or hit I for eyedropper. I want it so that I can see the shapes. I want the stroke to be black. There we go. Delete that. Control C, Control V. range. So I right clicked, send to back. All right. And then you can start playing around. And now I'm thinking like, man, you're not gonna be able to really see when I write anything. So what I think I'm going to do, that's why I locked that before. Object lock. Okay. With my white cursor, so A, I am going to remove these middle Christmas ornaments. So I just selected them and hit delete. Now I'm going to hit T for text and I'm going to say Happy December. And I can... That's a Harry Potter font, so always good, really. Select a cool font that will work. Make it bigger. I held shift as I did that so that I don't stretch out my words, because that is bad. And let's turn that a different color. This will be great. A little busy, but, you know, could be fun. Another cool thing, if you're like, I really want to use a funny font that I found on the internet. Well, the way we traced this image, you can actually do that with fonts. So, if you go to a font website, hmm, the sketchy ones, like the ones that look like stamps, don't work very well. But this one might be cool. You say, Happy December, large submit. So now I have, I like that one. So you're then going to go to your snipping tool, which is going to be under file. Oh, yours is going to be different. Um, it's in your accessories snipping tool. So then this guy opens up, and you're going to hit new. You're going to make a box. Then you're going to hit edit, copy, now shrink all of this, move that dude over there, hit control V for paste, now we're going to hit image trace, expand, A for my white cursor, delete the white shapes, now this is always tricky, getting rid of the white underneath. Okay, sometimes the trace is kind of silly, and you might want to fix up some of the lines. Depends on the font. I still want this red. Hit I for eyedropper. Select that. Hold shift shrink. And now I have a cool font without having to download it. Best card ever. <laughs> 